Thank you so much for staying with us. And if you just tuned in, this is Y254 TV. Tonight in the stand, we'll be looking to matters BBI. For the last one week or so, we have seen all manner of drama from our politicians and our leaders involving uh, the electorates in regards to how to vote or not to vote for the BBI report, which is the Building Bridges Initiative. In the stand, we look into the misgivings or the gray areas into the report as highlighted by several or the divide on the in the political divide. Stay with us. Stand sending in your comments or questions to all our social media platforms, OI254 channel at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. In this program, I'm sitting in for Ram Aguko. And tonight we have two panelists who will be helping us to dissect into this particular matter to understand better or to even understand what we need to do or what not we need to, we don't need to do. I'll be speaking to uh, Philip Mwangale and Nudin Kangai. They will be joining us in a bit for now. But the question is, should the report go as it is? Should it be voted in as it is or it should be amended? That has been the biggest questions to the people. Should should the report be voted in as it is or it needs further amendments like it has been proposed? I'm bringing in Nudin Kagai, a lawyer and a politician who is passionate on matters of youth politics and governance geared towards youth empowerment, social, political and economical. Good evening. My name is Nudin Kagai, a Kenyan and most importantly a son of the soil. I believe BBI was formed under the mantra of unity. And if at all we are to move ahead, we should have everyone in the bandwagon. And if at all some feel like they do not need to be part of it, you need to listen to them. So what do I mean? I believe the document as it is raises serious concerns and serious, serious issues that have been left unresolved. So I believe we need to look at the document, dissect it, have a surgery, a post-mortem on it. And finally, if we are at all to have a situation where we want to solve historical injustices or issues, we need to move together as one. And that is the reason why we believe unity is forward. And if at all you don't move the same way, we are going nowhere. Yeah. I would like you, for the sake of our audience out there, yeah. should the report be subjected to further amendments or it should be passed as it is? It should be amended. There are sections or areas where people feel that certain things need to be de deleted, others added. First and foremost, I believe we need to have institutions need to be made to be independent. That is most important because under the Constitution, we are talking about separation of powers and we need to have that in the new dispensation. Yeah, enough. Welcome to the program. I'm now bringing in um, Philip Mongale, who is the leadership and governance consultant, a lawyer, and he's also managing partner, Avocate Global Law Firm. He's also director, Jibor Global Consultant Executive Director, Homepage International. He's a man of quite a profile. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Uh, I think one of the things that we need to understand is that constitutional making is supposed to be a social enterprise rather than a political enterprise as we have turned it. And uh, I'm talking about the BBI process and the impending constitutional amendments. That said, uh, we must also understand what the BBI uh, uh, recommendations are. And in my view, if I'm to use medical terms, I think what the BBI report and the impending constitutional amendments excel at is one uh, to uh, take an accurate medical history of the national problems that we are facing and two to correctly identify the symptoms uh, that we have uh, suffered as a country but it suffers acute misdiagnosis of the problem. It also suffers a, 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 a dangerous misprescription because the things that are being prescribed in the BBI report and the impending constitutional amendments are not prescriptions that, in my view, uh, we should carry on as, as a nation. So if we proceed in the manner that we are, uh, as the report is, and with the uh, uh, proposed amendments to this constitution, then it will be akin to a cosmetic report 
prepare to a perfect document uh, that actually captures the, our values as a country. Uh, and that will be just because we have a present and possible suitor who is conniving, uh, by the way, and, uh, and by that I mean the politicians of this country. So in my estimated view, we must uh, do some uh, drastic changes to the proposed amendments to the Constitution and indeed the policy and administrative uh, recommendations under the report. All right. Before I allow you to sit as well, do you recommend or should the report be subjected to further amendments or it should be voted in as it is? In, 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 if it were up to me, I do not think that we should be having this discussion about uh, about BBI, uh, the report or the, the constitutional amendments. But now that we are here, we must make some drastic changes to those uh, recommendations, lest we do a cosmetic repair to a perfect constitution and invite catastrophic uh, consequences uh, five years or ten years down the line. Thank you so much and welcome. We'll be dissecting that into details whether we should be voting in for it or we shouldn't. Our gentlemen and panelists here, they will be helping us to understand more of what you've had. Of course, you already know the kind of people I'm now having here and their take in regards to the BBI. You also have your opinion. Send us in your comments or questions to all our social media platforms. Again, Y254 channel on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. This stand begins right now.